Controlling a computer with the power of thought, is it possible? Many people who have tried using the Next Mind device confirm that it works, but is it dangerous for the brain or not? What are the pros and cons of this device? Demonstrations of how the device works and what are the prospects for development? We will consider all of this in this video. Let's go. Next Mind Company is a subsidiary of one of the leading cognitive neuroscience laboratories. The company has developed the product based on many years of laboratory research. The team includes neuroscientists, machine learning specialists, programmers, and interface designers. What is this product? It is a compact sensor that reads brain signals from the visual cortex. You look at an image on a screen, the eyes transmit the image to the visual cortex. Electromagnetic signals are generated in the visual cortex, which the next mind sensor reads and recognizes. After reading, the device transmits the signal to the computer in real time. The computer, in turn, allows you to control programs using only your brain. For example, push buttons or move objects on the screen. Seems incredible, right? The way it is. The device has a huge development potential. Further in the video, we will consider what areas of application of such a device may be and whether there is any danger in the future of such sensors. In the meantime, like this video and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos on the latest advances in high technology. How is the device attached? The sensor is lightweight and compact in ridge shape. With a light press, you open the attachment system and clip it to the soft strap. This can be a regular strap that you attach to your head or a strap from a VR headset. Next, the sensor must be placed on the back of the head. For convenience, the strap can be adjusted to fit the sensor snugly. After you put it on, the sensor and the computer adjust and calibrate. You can, for example, operate the buttons on your TV. By focusing in the corner of the screen, you bring up a menu with commands. Further focusing on the buttons in the menu, you can switch channels, change the sound, pause video. In general, there are restrictions on actions only on your TV. You just switch the TV with your mind, just like in science fiction films. Of course, the device is still only in the early stages of development, but what it already knows is very impressive. You can also manipulate objects on the screen in a regular computer game. By focusing your attention on objects, you can blow them up, move them and participate in the process of playing with the power of thought. Everything will depend on the developers of the game, how they can integrate the device into the game itself. Who knows, maybe in the very near future we will be able to control the characters of the game, just by thinking about it. For example, I thought that my character would run and he would run. Eliminates the need to enter commands by hand or voice. Also, all of the above applies to virtual reality technologies. You can control objects in VR games with your mind. You just connect the sensor along with the helmet and play the game. We will talk about the areas of application of the device just below. At the moment there is a toolkit for developers. You can already download it and write games and programs with the ability to control thoughts. You don't even need the device itself to write the code, there is the possibility of simulating thoughts. But for a complete set and testing, it is better to purchase the device itself. Many video bloggers have already tried the device and confirm that it actually works. For many, the device feels incredible simply because of the ability to control thoughts. Even for our time, this opportunity is completely unique. Is it dangerous for the brain and is there any harmful radiation? In fact, the device does not emit anything, but reads what our brain emits. The sensor is attached to the head and is in the signal standby mode. When a new signal arrives, the sensor reads it and sends it to the computer. The device itself was developed in the laboratory by neuroscientists and has been tested many times. What are the pros and cons of such a device in its current design? Pros. Real ability to control thoughts. Feelings of super abilities and huge potential for technology development. Easy to set up and calibrate. Easy to attach. Ability to independently write games for the device on the Unity game engine. Minuses. Response times are not as fast as we would like. There is a lag between focusing on the screen image and sending the signal to the computer. Of course, in the future, this lag will be reduced. You need to turn it on and off so that it does not discharge quickly. At the moment, a limited set of actions on the computer screen. Sufficiently large sensor size. 
What are the possible applications for such devices? The first is, of course, the gaming industry. Imagine a game where you can control all of your actions just by thinking about it. The game will already be more like a simulation of reality and a real virtual reality, where your brain controls your virtual body. Or you can, for example, use Jedi power in the Star Wars game. That the enemy absolutely cannot foresee. Or the game can automatically read your behavior and adjust the environment to suit you and your playstyle, or increase or decrease the difficulty of the game if you get bored. Or you can build incredible cities and structures with the power of thought, for example, as in the game Minecraft. Instead of a mouse, you just think about what to put and where to move, and this immediately happens. How do you like this virtual reality? All this, of course, requires a lot of improvements and seems almost impossible. But also virtual reality glasses seemed impossible before. Now look at what opportunities this technology has become. It is possible to use the device in industry in the control of complex mechanisms, where such devices could significantly simplify, speed up and make the work of operators of complex and large machines safe. In medicine, a surgeon can control robotic arms simply with the power of thought and perform complex operations from a distance. The scope of the device is huge, almost equal to the possibilities when a person invented the first wheel and then invented computers. Everything that a person thinks about can now be embodied in the high technology sphere much faster. We remove the slow link between the computer and the person, arms, legs, eyes and leave only the two fastest elements, the computer processor and the human brain. Just imagine what opportunities are behind this and what a leap in technology humanity will make. If you like the video, like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos about the latest achievements in the field of high technologies. See you in the next video. Bye.